So what we have here is an unboxing of one of our 0.5 meter tubes. Uh, we started manufacturing them basically mid-2014. Uh, basically from the demand and popularity of the mini tubes, we decided to give our customer something a little bit bigger, something a little bit better, and something with a faster reaction time and more fluid capacity. So we made larger tubes. So essentially what you have is a brochure. The brochure itself covers all our products and materials that we uh, we make um, and stock. Basically on our website there's a storefront and you can actually see and buy every single part and component from all our solar systems. So if you're making a project you can actually get all the gaskets, all the seals, all the end caps uh, for the tubes itself so you don't have to start from scratch. So what you see, lots of packing material. You do not want to have shipping damages. Then you're going to see you have three tubes. So all ads and all listings are actually for two tubes. Uh, we ship a third tube in there uh, just because uh, we do not want to have an unhappy customer. Um, shipping damages are really, really rare. Uh, I will honestly say they they almost never happen, but when they do, you're unhappy, we're unhappy, and the shipping company is unhappy with its employees. So um, let's try to keep everyone happy. So what we do is we ship a third tube with it. So uh, essentially, most of the time the tubes all arrive okay, uh, but if anything ever happens, you have a third tube as a replacement. Uh, if not, if all of them arrive, then you have a third tube as a bonus. Um, what you have is an end cap. End cap is just a high temperature piece of rubber. Um, basically you have two holes in it. You have um, the bigger hole which we commonly use for our heat pipes but you can use it for shish kebabs, uh, temperature probes and so forth. The smaller hole, uh, we it's basically there as a vent so any kind of steam, pressure, build up, uh, it lets out so uh, this thing doesn't go flying. Um, so they're all manufactured for all our tubes. Then you have the tube itself. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how it's actually made and how it works. So what you have is you have a solar vacuum tube. Um, a vacuum tube, it's, it's essentially the same thing as a thermos. It's just a bit chlorified for the outdoors. So as a thermos, if you stick something warm on the inside, it will stay warm. But with the vacuum tube, uh, with the solar vacuum tube, you stick something in the inside, you stick it outside in the sun, it will get warmer. So you can actually boil water, you can cook hot dogs and stuff. So um, now what you have is you have two layers of borosilicate glass. It's a heat treated uh, glass. It's hardened. It's the same thing as your cooking uh, ware, your coffee pots and so forth. Uh, what we have is in between the two layers of glass, what we end up doing is we pull a vacuum. That vacuum is there as a layer of insulation. right? So if you stick something boiling inside, it's fairly cold to the touch on the outside. So that is your vacuum tube. As you can see, there's a bit of a coating system going on. So you're going to see something else. We call that a getter. So it's basically a spring spacer. When we manufacture the tubes, you have two tubes like this. So you have an inner tube and an outer tube. Now at the top, they're bonded together as this lip. At the bottom, they're basically within each other. So that spring spacer is there just to prevent any kind of movement or any kind of damages that could happen to that top lip. So we don't want to have any cracking. So that spring spacer is there to prevent all that. Then you see a mirror finish coating. So basically that's an aluminum coating that we end up using. Uh, if you ever do lose any of the vacuum in your vacuum tube, uh, it will actually oxidize and turn white. So you know that you have lost your vacuum. So uh, that is um, the bottom half of the tube itself. And you can see the nipple where we pull the vacuum out. Here you see at the top, you can see some different coloring going on. All these coatings that you see are actually within the two layers of glass. Um, all these coatings are actually within the two layers on the inside layer of the tube. So um, it's not on this side, it's in between the two. Just a bit complicated, but you kind of understand that. But uh, essentially what you have is that dark coating that you see is an absorber. Uh, absorbs the heat, transfers it to the inside. That second layer uh, 
that you can see. I don't know if you can see that too much, but it's actually a mirror finish. So um, it's a selective mirror finish, so it lets sunlight in but not out. Um, then what you see is the last layer. is a special coating. It's infrared UV layer. So in overcast weather, it will produce some heat. Not a whole ton, but it will produce some heat. So that is your vacuum tube. So essentially what you want to do is stick your contents in the inside, stick it out in the sun, and it will produce heat. So depending where you live, uh, the sunlight angle is a bit different. In Canada, it's quite drastically different between summertime and wintertime. Wintertime, the sun's lower in the sky. You have to be quite high angle, but in the summertime, you can even be low. So it depends where you live. If you want to have a faster reaction time, add a reflector behind it. You get 30% more output. So, yeah, so that's our 0.5 meter tubes. This is a newer product that we have. And uh, thanks for watching.